Please welcome the lovely Saffron Burrows, everybody. You look absolutely sensational. I love a woman in a red dress. Well, I like your attire very much, too. Thanks. It's Bob Barker, circa 1986. <laughs> what do you think? I like the look of this film, by the way. It looks very nice. It's one of them movies with all them Cockney people stealing money, innit? It's a lot of Cockney. Yeah, yeah. I'm quite keen for you to see this. I, I, I'll see it. I think you might like it. I do. I like, I like the lock, stock and two smoking barrels. Yeah. I, like, I tell you why I like Cockney uh, heist movies. Because all the guys have got tiny little mouths and they all talk like that. <laughs> You're a tiny little mouth. I've got some money in here, geezer. And I can't go above a certain octave. That's right, we've got to keep it low. it's cool if it's low. Yeah. It's true. I know. Blacks talk like that over there. And the problem is when you're on camera with one of them, you end up talking the same way because you just drift towards it. Well, that's what I do all the time. Don't you find if you're around people that talk differently, you end up talking like them? Absolutely. I, I mean, I'm from New Jersey. I met five Scottish guys once. <laughs> I do that in New Zealand, I go all local, do after really? a week. What does New Zealand sound like? Well, it's kind of a little bit tight in the mouth. Oh, right. right so it's yeah. not as broad as Australian, but it's a little bit tight. A little bit tight? A little bit tight, but it's kind of terrific, and it's very, uh, very open-minded, and, and it's got a lot of Maori in the language. What, nudism? Do they have nudism with their open minds? <laughs> they do, actually. Do they have nudism? It's a very liberal society. Really? Yeah. But, uh, I mean... I don't approve. <laughs> Or I kind of do, I don't know. You have Touch been... me again and I'll tell you. <laughs> You've been all over my life recently because really? I was on a plane yesterday reading your novel that oh. you kindly gave me. That's right. I look up at the screen and there's your show on American Airlines. Yeah. And there's just Craig everywhere. Yeah, I get I home, you're on the telly. I know. It's, yeah, it's, it's lovely. A, it's called outsourcing. <laughs> Do you know once I was on a plane, and uh, you, this was I have to do, you've had movies on the plane, I fell asleep on the plane and I was all, uh, and I must have been snoring, because everyone was kind of looking at me like that when I woke up, I was like, ah, uh, in fact, it was like this, it was like, right, and, just like that, yeah, it was just like that, just like and then I woke up and I was, I was, and the TV was on, and it was me on the TV, I was like, ah, like that. <laughs> I, I, I realise how scary it must be to see me. That's horrible. I know. Well, I have to say, there was also a Wonder Show on, and I, I was travelling alone. I had the headphones on. So I, I turned to this complete stranger next to me and said, oh, this is my favourite show on television. <laughs> she looked at me like, really? So what? Really? And I was, obviously, I, was, I was obviously shouting because I had the headphones oh. on. I was watching Wonder and Julia do their thing in the, in the kitchen. Or That's your favourite show, The New Adventures of Old Christine? I can't go out on a Monday now because I have to watch it. I love it. Do you know how much CBS would pay you to say that? <laughs> or have they already? <laughs> I will literally email a friend while I'm watching it and say, turn it on, turn it on. It's so good. Really? It's a yeah. very good show. They're both very funny. I, I like to think I'm their only viewer. No, you're not. But it's just for me. Well, actually, CBS, it's entirely possible. <laughs> I... No, it, I, I never thought, I think of you as, well then again, you did do Boston Legal, I always think of you as being terribly serious in, in, the, in your acting game. But I yes. pretend to be. Yeah. Then I have my little moments. Would you ever do a sitcom? Oh, I'd love to do a sitcom. Just call it Saffron. <sighs> Wouldn't you, Saffron and Craig? Ah, I'm busy here. But I, <laughs> I could get out of this probably, actually if I could get out of this, I would get out of this. You could no. just shoot mornings. <laughs> I could shoot one, but call it morning. Saffron, and we'll do the, you know, I'm just wild about Saffron for the title. Yeah. Thing. And then at the end it'll go, Saffron is taped in front of a, of a studio audience, like that at the end. I like that. What's, what would the setup be? Uh, you have a wacky neighbour, and, uh, and you're married to a really fat guy. Uh, that, no, that's what they do in CBS. Good looking women married to a fat guy. It's a, it's a, it just, it works, it works, it works. <laughs> It does. It worked. King of Queens, that ran for ten years. <laughs> we do, so we marry you up to, say, I don't know, Newman from Seinfeld or something like that. What about Norm from Cheers? Norm from Cheers, he's great. Yeah, he's yeah, great. I, like, I him. like him. All right, so you're married to Norm from Cheers, and yeah. at the end of each episode, every episode, someone goes, Oh, Saffron. <laughs> and then they go, Saffron is taped in front of a studio audience, like that. <laughs> you're like not going to do it, are you? I like that. Yeah, yeah, I think it'd be good. I'll ditch the law stuff. 
What, are you still doing Boston Legal? Yeah, we're back on after the strike. Oh gosh, I'm I in the courtroom tomorrow. Really? Yeah, we've I got love some, that show. It's, we've got some good stuff coming up. It, that, to me, is the best show on television. I have to tell you, even although it's not on CBS, I know. But it's true. Are you allowed to say that? Uh, I am. They'll cut it out. But I... Uh, no. <laughs> No, I, no, in television, I don't know if you know this, because you've probably been working in Boston Legal and then, you know, doing movies, but in television, everybody actually gets along and everybody supports each other. <laughs> Do you know, they did say to me on day one of Boston Legal, they said they run it like a theatre company. Yes. If you have any complaints, you go to the artistic director and you all get together and you have lunch and you talk. And really? I have to say, I thought, oh, I didn't believe a word of it. And actually, they're kind of true to their word. Do you ha did you have any complaints? Is well, Spader grabby in any way? Oh, <laughs> no, Shatner, of course. Shatner is the single word that means sexual harassment. <laughs> <laughs> he is, isn't he? He's grabby. <laughs> Saffron and I really enjoy John your work. Larroquette's the one you've got to watch. John Larroquette, oh, he's, he's grabby. He's the one you've yeah, got to watch. Yeah, yeah. That's, A little bit busy. Time. Darling, will you come back again? I'd love to. All right, the lovely Saffron Burrows. We'll be right back, everybody.